Hello friends, welcome to Unreal Engine video tutorials series. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss what is a level in Unreal Engine. We understand how to create a new level in Unreal Engine, how to save a new level in Unreal Engine and how to open an already created level in Unreal Engine. So let's get started. What is a level in Unreal Engine? Level indicates any game screen, game level, film scene, etc, etc guys. What is a level? Level represents a game screen, game level, film scene, etc, etc. For example, if you are making a game, then definitely you will be creating a splash screen, menu screen, level 1, level 2, level 3, level 4, boss level, game over screen, setting screen, etc, etc. They are all considered as levels guys. If you are making a film, then you will be creating hero intro scene, climax scene, etc, etc. Those are all considered as levels guys. Understood? Level represents any game screen, any game level, any film scene guys. Note, levels are also referred as maps in Unreal Engine. Sometimes levels are also referred as maps in Unreal Engine. Whenever we want to create a new game screen, game level, film scene, we create a new level in Unreal Engine. We create a new level in Unreal Engine guys. Let's understand how to create a new level in Unreal Engine. First what I do, I create one blank project with no starter content. I minimize the word. I double click on Unreal Engine icon. Next I am going to select games. Then I say next. I select the blank project template. I say next and the project type blueprint target hardware desktop or console graphics quality maximum quality starter content no starter content real time ray tracing disabled. I am going to set the project name my project and the location to save desktop. I click on create project. You can see that it is creating a project with the name my project and you can see that unreal editor user interface is launched. By default, it creates a level for us with the name untitled and you can see in this level already we have some actors. We have atmospheric fog which is used to control the fog. Next we see a floor. Next we have a light source. Light source indicates a directional light or a sunlight. Next we have player start. Player start actor indicates when we play the game where the player is going to spawn. So this is a place the player is going to spawn when we play the game guys. That's what the player start indicates. Next we have sky sphere. Sky sphere indicates a sky box and you can clearly see we have some clouds and all. If I hide you can see the clouds gone and they are again visible right. So that's what the sky sphere indicates. You can say sky atmosphere. Next we have skylight. Skylight is like an ambient light. It is like a overall light of the scene. Next we have sphere reflection capture which is used to capture the reflections. Okay. We are going to talk about these things in detail later in the upcoming video tutorials. So at present you need not to worry. Okay. I have created a blank project. Next what are we going to do is I am going to create one new folder called as levels in the content root folder guys. Go to content browser window. In the content root folder, create a new folder with the name levels. Here we have the content browser window and what I do, I right click on this content folder, say new folder, name it as levels. You can also name it as maps guys. Okay, as I told levels are also called as maps. If you want, you can give a folder name maps. Okay, next we are going to create one new level. To create a new level, go to file menu. Click on new level, choose the default template. I go to file menu, say new level. You can see that it is giving different templates for creating the new level. I am going to choose the default. Why? Because if I choose the default template, default template comes with default actors like atmospheric fog, floor, light source, player start, sky sphere, sky light, sphere reflection capture. They are all added here. If you create, if you select the empty template, then you don't find all these actors. You have to add them one by one by yourself. I select the default template. When I say default template, you can see that it has created 
a label with the name untitled with all the default actors. Now we understood how to create a label. Let's understand how to save a label. To save the label, go to file menu, click on save current as, choose the location to save. We are going to select the labels folder and then type the level name, whatever you want. We are going to type level one and then save. What I do, I say file, say save current as, then we select the folder in which we want to save the current level. I say levels and then I give here level name. I am going to say here level one. You can say map one, map two, boss level, splash screen level or splash screen map like that. Then I click on save button. You can see that in the levels folder, the level is saved guys. So that is how you create a new level and save it. Let's create one more level. I say file new level. I select this default template. You can see that again we have a untitled level. That means the level is not yet saved. Let me save this level. I say file save current as I select the levels folder and name this as level two level two. Then I click on save. You can see that level two is also saved. So that is how you create a new level and save it. Next we understand how to open a level in Unreal Engine. To open the level, you just double click on the level to be opened guys. You just need to double click on the level. So for example, at present the level two is open. I double click on the level one. You can see now the level one is open. What I do in the level one, I put one cube here. Okay. I place the cube and I save this level by going to file menu and say save current. When I say save current, the level is saved guys. I double click on level two. To open it, you can see that the level two is open. I am going to put a sphere inside here and then I save this level by going to file menu and say save current. Now the level two is also saved. So you just need to double click on the level file, which is available inside your levels folder to open it guys. Next, you can also open a level by going to file menu, click on open level, locate the levels folder, select the level to be opened click on open button. For example, at present we are in level two. I want to open level one. I can go to file menu, say open level, select the level that I want to open. I have selected level one and then I click on open button. You can see now the level one is open. Now I want to open level two. So what I have to do? Go to file menu, say open level, select the levels folder, select the level two, say open. You can see now the level two is open guys. That's it guys for this video tutorial. I hope you guys have clearly understood what is a level in Unreal Engine. Remember that a level indicates any game screen, game level, film scene, etc. Levels are also called as maps in Unreal Engine that also you should remember. And whenever we want to create a new game screen, game level, film scene, we create a new level in Unreal Engine. I hope you people understood how to create a new level, how to save a new level and how to open a level in Unreal Engine. That's it guys. If you like this video, hit the like button and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited. In the upcoming video tutorials, we are going to discuss more about Unreal Engine. For more benefits and be up to date, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.